Reporting from SSB.gov.dr, the manufacturer of the TFX MMU by Turkish Aerospace Industries started from the design stage in August 2016. It is planned that the first flight will be carried out at the end of 2023. Then, in 2030, as many as 10 units will begin actively strengthening the defense of the Turkish Air Force. With the TFX National Fighter Aircraft Development Project, it is aimed to meet the Air Force Command's fighter aircraft needs in 2030 by maximally using domestic industry, said SSB. The TFX MMU is believed to have the capability to attack air-to-air -air and air-to-ground targets. This fighter jet will be equipped with electro-optical and radar-reflecting technology which makes it difficult to detect. Not only that, other sophistication is the ability to identify and detect automatic targets using artificial intelligence. Apart from its combat capabilities, this jet has an appearance similar to the United States F-22 Raptor stealth fighter. Dismissing the F-35 Lightning Joint Strike Fighter program, Turkey shows independence by making its own stealth fighter. For the first time, Turkey showed off a prototype of the Gen 4.5 fighter jet which has the stealth capability of the DFX. The first prototype of Turkey's DFX next generation fighter jet has reportedly completed a series of taxi tests ahead of its official launch on March 18, 2023. The Turkish Defense Industries Agency, or Sivan Masana Yiba, SSB, has released a set of images of a TFX prototype on a runway at an undisclosed location. The company, also known by the acronym Turk Havakuzai Senayaz, TUSAS, is leading the development of this aircraft under a program officially known as the Mili Mahara Pusiak, MMU, or National Combat Aircraft Project. The first aircraft of Turkey's homegrown fighter program, the TFX, is in a hangar ahead of its maiden flight at the end of the year. But fiscal problems could hinder its success, according to one analyst, even as the country's president seeks partners for the program. Turkey's economy is experiencing high inflation, and the country's foreign debt reached nearly $476 billion in March. International insurance company Allianz Trade reported total external debt maturing in the next 12 months has risen to around $250 billion. It is inevitable that the TFX program will face financial difficulties in line with the country's economic situation, Oscar Exi, a defense analyst in Ankara, told Defense News. However, Turkey is looking for foreign partners, which can reduce its financial burden in connection with the program. The government wants to fly the planned plane this year, the centenary of the Republic of Turkey. Turkish Aerospace Industries said the TFX will fly on December 27, 2023. Under this program, TIE will deliver 20 TFX Block 10 aircraft to the Air Force by 2028. By 2029, Thai plans to produce two TFX fighters per month. 